Hi friends, welcome back to Curious With. I am Dr. Mausina. In today's video, we will see a viral disease in small ruminants that is contagious ecthyma. So the synonyms of this disease are ORF, contagious pustula dermatitis or sore mouth. The to term ORF is more popular and uh, today we will discuss about the clinical signs, etiology, diagnosis and treatment of this disease. Contagious ecthema is an infectious dermatitis of sheep and goats that affects primarily the lips of young animals. The disease is usually more severe in goats than in sheep. People are occasionally affected through direct contact. You can see the lesion here that primarily affecting the lip of young animals. Coming to the etiology and epidemiology, the causal parapox virus is related to pseudocowpox and bovine papular stomatitis. Infection occurs by contact and the virus is highly resistant to desiccation in the environment, having been recovered from dried crust even after 12 years. In the laboratory, it is also resistant to glycerol and to ether. Contagious ecthyma is found worldwide is common in young lambs reared artificially and in older lambs during late summer, fall and winter on pasture and during winter in feedlots. Now moving on to clinical findings and diagnosis. The primary lesion develops at the mucocutaneous junction of the lips and arounding erupting incisor teeth and may extend to the mucosa of buccal cavity. Here you can see early lesions on the gums of a 5 year old lamb around erupting incisor teeth and also uh, the lesion in mucocutaneous junction of lips. Eve's nursing infected lambs may develop lesions on the teeth extending onto the other skin. The lesions develop as papules and progress through vesicular and pustular stages before encrusting. So the lesion usually develops as papules and later to vesicular and pustular stages before encrusting. Here you can see typical clinical lesions of contagious ecthema in different parts of the body. In the picture A you can see lesions in nostrils and mouth region and in B you can see lesions of the ear and in C the lesions of teeth and other. Occasionally, lesions are found on the feet and around the coronet and sometimes these lesions on the feet and around the coronet are complicated by secondary bacterial infection with dermatophilus congolensis leading to the formation of strawberry foot rot. You can see the strawberry foot rot condition here in this picture. This is another picture showing dermatophilus congolensis infection of a contagious ecthema lesion at the coronary band causing strawberry foot rot. Coalescence of numerous discrete lesions often leads to the formation of large scabs and the proliferation of dermal tissue produces a varicose mass under them. When the lesion extends to the oral mucosa, secondary necrobacillosis frequently develops. Here are some other clinical signs. You can digest the mine got. You can see the lesions in the ear. Also chronic proliferative contagious ecthema lesions extending from the mucocutaneous junction of the lips of a sheep are seen in here. During the course of the disease of 1 to 4 weeks, the scabs drops off and the tissue heal without scarring. During the active stages of infection, most severely affected lambs do not eat normally and lose condition and extensive lesion on the feet causes lameness. Mastitis, sometimes gangrenous, may occur in eaves with lesions on the teeth. 
the lesion is characteristic the disease must be differentiated from ulcerative dermatosis which produces tissue destruction and crateriform ulcers ectema usually affects younger animals than does ulcerative dermatosis although this criterion can only be used presumptively so here you can see the pictures from the front and sides of chronic proliferative contagious ectema lesions extending from the mucocutaneous junction of the lips of a lamb the other diseases coming under differential diagnosis are foot and mouth disease blue tongue and staphylococcus folliculitis foot and mouth disease and blue tongue infection should be considered if morbidity is high and clinical signs include salivation lameness and fever staphylococcus folliculitis affects the skin of the muscle and surrounding the eyes direct demonstration of virus in scab material by electron microscopy have has now been replaced by pcr as the diagnostic method of choice for ectema historically positive differentiation could be obtained by inoculating susceptible and ectema immunized sheep now let's see the treatment and control methods Both parenteral and topical antibiotics may help combat secondary bacterial infection of the skin lesions. In endemic areas, appropriate repellents and larvicides should be applied to the lesions to prevent meiosis. The virus is transmissible to people and the lesions usually confined to the hands and face are more proliferative. Veterinarians and sheep handlers should exercise reasonable protective precautions and wear disposable gloves diagnosis in people is established by transmitting the virus to sheep and complement fixation tests may be of value sheep that have recovered from natural infection are highly resistant to reinfection Despite a multiplicity of immunogenic virus strains the presently used commercial single strain live vaccines have produced fair immunity in all parts of the USA with an occasional exception more usually seen in goats Vaccine breaks appear to be due to the virulence of the infecting strain rather than to differences in antigenicity of the vaccine Sheep immunized against contagious ectema remain susceptible to ulcerative dermatosis. Ulcerative dermatosis produce more crateriform lesions that we already discussed before. Live vaccines should be used cautiously to avoid contaminating uninfected premises and vaccinated animals should be segregated from unprotected stock until the scabs have fallen off. A small amount of the live vaccine is brushed over slight scarifications of the skin usually on the inside of the thigh or behind the elbow or caudal fold. Lambs should be vaccinated when approximately 1 month old for best result a second vaccination at approximately 2 to 3 months later is suggested. Non immunized lambs should be vaccinated 1 to 2 month before entering infected feed lots. So that's all about contagious ectema or or for sore mouth. So all aspects of this disease are important as far as uh, veterinary exams are concerned and especially the clinical signs and diagnosis that is diagnostic method is PCR and the uh, uh, the clinical signs the peculiar clinical signs and the differential diagnosis with foot and mouth and staphylococcus folliculitis and ulcerative dermatosis. So If the video is informative and useful please like it and comment your suggestions and if you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video see you soon with another video thank you